This is Trailers from Hell. I'm George Hickenlooper, and you're about to see the trailer from the classic Beatles film, The Yellow Submarine. And here it is. This is a very personal film to me because this was the first film I ever saw in my entire life. My parents took me to see it. I was four years old. They took me to see it at a theater in St. Louis, Missouri. And my mother, this is before um, really my family got involved with the anti-war movement, but this was a film, the Beatles were alive in our household, I remember, from the time I was three years old. And when I saw this picture, the colors, you know, as a four-year-old boy, the color, the music really had a strong impact on me and, you know, made me fall in love with the music of the Beatles. And then as I got older and older and became much more of a Beatles aficionado, I, I, uh, I looked into the picture more of the history of the film and I learned a lot of really interesting things. For example, this was, I believe, the third film the Beatles did in their contract with United Artists. They originally didn't want to do it when the film was proposed to them because they hated a television animated series about the group. They hated it and uh, their approach to do it, this animated feature, they didn't want anything to do with it. So they, contractually, they said, we'll be involved with it if we can get out of our deal with United Artists. They wrote three songs, sort of lackadaisically, submitted them to the picture. All Together Now, I think, is one of them. And then they put the film together. The studio showed the film to the Beatles, and they were so impressed by it that they decided to be more actively involved. And I believe they wrote maybe an additional song or two. And then they agreed to do the live action sequence, which I believe is only at the end of the picture. It's really kind of a revolutionary film, certainly revolutionary. In a way, it was kind of the animated equivalent to 2001, which had come out uh, the year before. And it was a, a very, you know, this was a time when people were very used to kind of very flat animated features like Winnie the Pooh. Disney had lost some of its luster. And uh, the Yellow Submarine really exploded off the screen as being this kind of revolutionary, counterculture, uh, animated musical. You know, as a four-year-old boy, of course, I wasn't looking in that context. I was looking in perfectly, in, in perfect visceral terms. But it was something that really... Um, emotionally really moved me and it uh, was a very happy memory one of my first memories as a as a young boy and um, I've carried it with me for uh, for years and years and to this day remain a Beatles fan though I've grown a little bit more fond of the Rolling Stones as I've gotten older on a personal level it, it, it really affected me and I remember when uh, John Lennon was murdered in uh, 1980 I watched uh, the Yellow Submarine again I hadn't watched it since I was a kid and um, it uh, it really um, it really affected me, um, both John Lennon's tragic demise and uh, and seeing this film again, um, sort of came full circle with my uh, somewhat tumultuous childhood with this movie. Yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine.